Hey, what's up, everybody? Just want to jump on here and talk to everybody for a minute. You should have it. Yeah. Uh, just want to talk about a few things before uh, we go on the growth hour with the reinvention center. So, you know, this is my normal routine. I just want to just touch base with a few people and see what's going on. <laughs> How you doing, Miss Susan? Everything okay? Y'all know I love them blues, so I always going to open up, man. Open up with a little cold Pepsi tonight by Gita Jones. If you hadn't heard it, go ahead and get it. You know what I mean? Uh, a few things I want to talk about. You know, this is a new year, man. Everybody made so many resolutions. We're halfway through January, and it just seems like we're not... Uh, Beginning or fulfilling our our resolutions. What's up, Vernon? How you doing? So I think that what we need to do, man, we need to just reset and just know that we got uh, plenty of time. <laughs> yeah. So what's up, baby? I just think that uh, we put too much pressure on ourselves when we set not unrealistic goals, but goals that we have no intentions of beginning. The biggest thing is getting started. So I think that if we get started. And then everything will fall into place, and uh, you know, it's just, you'll be able to do things as you want them to. Hey, Dev, how you doing? Um, we got part two of the real business and uh, the Carmen Johnson story. It's a lady who was she was a mortgage broker, and she ended up going to prison falsely and doing three years. You know, so we're trying to get her case some attention and just see how she was having a lot of a lot of African Americans with their mortgages in uh, Maryland and the D.C. area. And so the big banks got tired of it. They were giving them what they call balloon payments and tricking people into these high interest rate mortgage notes and in, knowing ideally that most people weren't going to be able to fulfill them. So what they did was they was uh, getting them in four or five years down the road when these people went to struggle and they just took the houses from them and these people credit are bad. So when she was exposing the people and calling on legislators to change the laws or or get a, a moratorium on those on, on those mortgages, then what they did was <laughs> they charged her with like twelve or twenty two counts or something like that. Anyway, you can hear the rest of her story. And I asked everybody to go on my page to find her petition and sign it. You know what I mean? So yeah, so one other thing I want to talk about is uh, the rate of COVID inside, like, our federal prisons. Man, a lot of people are still are still succumbing to the coronavirus. You know what I mean? I haven't heard anything about anybody at any of the federal prisons or any other prisons getting the vaccine yet. We know that there's a shortage on the vaccine. And everybody's going, you know, everybody's waiting. There are long lines, you know, where people are waiting to get the vaccine. So this is one of the things that we want to, uh, you know, we want to address and stuff. So, so man, it's just been a blessing to be a part of uh, helping people reacclimate back to society, and it's been a great part in just uh, uh, helping them make the transition home. What's up, E? Little Jack Town, how you doing? Hey, Miss Laura, how you doing out there in Georgia? You know, still want to get with you on how we can. You know, I want to get some of those packages where I can help people in the community that I can pass out in the community here in Mississippi, you know. So I'm asking everybody to join me on the Growth Hour with James Jones. And pretty soon, as soon as Lisa come on, my baby will post the link on uh, on here. You just click on the link and come in. What's up, Papa Danny? How you doing, man? How does it feel to be free, man? Yeah, there's one thing COVID did for you, huh? COVID brought you home a little early, man. Good to see you, man. You know, so uh, make sure you jump on, man, and just kind of support us and give us some uh, ideas or some support to where we can help, like struggling people who are getting, coming back into society and also where we can uh, shed light on the injustice of the the federal, uh, the federal system, you know, how they incarcerate us and just throw us away. 
but it's going to be a great show. Last week was a great show. And I think this week will be even better. You know, there's the link. You can see the comedian ID is 818-724-96328, passcode 979-855. I'm going to be going over there in a few minutes. And I ask that you come and join me, you know, but in the meantime, man, just keep your head up, man. If you have these goals and stuff that, that you, uh, that you set, don't put, don't put so much pressure on yourself, man. Don't put so much pressure on yourself. Just hit the reset button. You still got 11 months to do it, man. You know, you only lost a half a month if you haven't got started on your resolution. Whatever it was, whether it was to quit smoking, whether it was to quit drinking, whether it was to lose weight, or just to be a better you, man. Just continue to work on that, and then don't work on that. What's up, little brother? How y'all doing? What's up, everybody? How y'all doing? Yep. Yeah. So it's always good, man, to have people to come on and support you and everything, man. So I really appreciate y'all, <laughs> and just uh, continue to continue to you know support us and everything. The growth hour starts at seven o'clock. I welcome everybody, man, no matter what, you know, it's, you can always learn something. Chime in. I'm going to stream it live from my page, you know, and I'm also going to uh, be on the panel. So I'll be doing the co-host the co-host for James Jones and Lisa Riley. Lisa Riley is with Breaking Silence and James Jones is with the, uh, the Reinvention Center. So come on on and spend some time with us, man, learn a little something, write the link down. If you have any questions, man, you have somebody who is incarcerated, let us know, man, and we'll try to do what we can do to help them. You know what I mean? So, there's the link. What's up, baby? How you doing, man? I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thanks for the cut, man. I, you know, I did your business, man. Uh, what's the name of your barbershop, girl? You know, so let me know, man, so I can put it on here on Wednesdays. I always try to sh support and, sh you know, shout out black business, you know, this month. My cousin down here in Mile Bay, man. That's where I get my little fresh cut from, you know, every week or every other week. You know what I mean? Whenever I have time to get through there. But he's been real patient. You know, and I got all the guys over there partnering with me, man. They go over and see him and stuff. So you ever in Mile Bay, man, stop by his barbershop. The old Smith's barbershop and get your hair cut and everything. Make sure you stop by Joni's on Sundays. If you don't stop the hair studio in Mile Bay, man, make sure that you get on there and you know, stop through that mile by the old Smithy shop. It's the hair studio. Rico Huncho, man. And as a matter of fact, his, his wife does hair in there also, does hair in there also. So for you women who need your hair done and stuff, make sure that you go through and see uh, Miss Kim. <laughs> and get your hair done with her. But make darn sure you stop by Jones, man, on Sundays and get some of those hog malls or, or some of that cube steak or smother pork chop and gravy and stuff, man. I'm telling you, it's uh. Oh, and the sweet potato casserole, man. I always brag about that because it's some of the best that I've ever had. You know, so. But look, I'm on my way over to the growth hour. It was really good, man, stopping through. I always want to stop through and pay homage to, to my followers, man, or whatever. You know, but I ask to. I'm always coming to invite you over to the, uh, the growth hour. You know, so make sure. And anyway, if, if you're not doing anything, man, if you want to keep, you want to know, know when I go live, man, just set the notification, man, and click so it'll notify you whenever I go live. Because sometimes during the week, man, I might do an impromptu if a hot topic come up and I want to speak about it. <clears throat> I will post, you know, I'll come up and, uh, I'll come up and speak on that. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, thank you, baby. But anyway, yeah, I appreciate you. I appreciate you, cuz. The hair studio, man, in Mount Bayou. Rico Hunter, your, your, your designated barber, man. Drive through. And I'll let Kim, man, get your hair done. If you ladies who want to get your hair done, stop through there. Make sure you stop through. Don't forget to go out to TGNS during the week and get you some of them hamburgers, man. You know, so make sure that you do that. I also got 21st Century Cle Cleaners in Cleveland. You know, I get my clothes starts, man. Y'all see me start sometime. And I know y'all wonder what I get the fresh starch from. It said, uh, as a matter of fact, I appreciate you, bro. Um, 21st Century Cleaner. It's uh, Miss Travis and uh, their family. You know, they got a cleaner down there. The Travis family for, for me from Mount Bay is their cleaners. You know, so it's 21st Century. And uh, Lisa White, she has a, a small, like, flea market, I guess you would say. 
flea market, man, down there in Boyle, on the side of the highway. You know, you can stop there on the weekend, man, find some good deals or something. You know, she goes out and buy a lot of stuff, man. So I really appreciate you guys, man. Come on. Yeah. Always support. What's up, Bear? How you doing, man? I'm going to have to get down to Greenville and see you, man. Tell me you're doing big things, man. Go right there and holler at Archie, man. Tell Archie to say, uh, I'll be through there to get my car detailed. Matter of fact, you got uh, Archie Moore's detail shop in Greenville. Bear, make sure. You know, send me the name right there on Alexander in Greenville, man. Y'all go through there and get your car detailed, man. For the low low. You know what I mean? Inside out, top to bottom, man. You alright, Baron? Just shoot out on some uh shouting out on some uh, black businesses here. We're on our way to the reinvention center, man. We started at seven o'clock. I really appreciate you. How you doing, Miss Tasha? Everything alright? From the legendary shop family. With uh Moses Coleman and all his family and everybody, man. Yep, so all my white black business, man, we gotta support each other. You know what I mean? Ain't nothing, man. Trying to survive, bear, man. Just taking it one day at a time, you know? Doing our thing, man. You ain't doing nothing. Jump over on the Reinvention Center, man. You'll see some of your fellow partners from uh, Yeah Zoo, man, who got out and they're doing their own thing. They're pretty successful. You know, you'll see Brandon uh, Brandon and his wife. You know, he just got out uh, on the first step. You'll see James Jones. You know, he was down there in the building with you, but... Yeah, come through and check it out, man. What's up, Larry? How you doing, man? Long time no see, man. Long time no hear from, man. Good. Thank, thank you for stopping through, man. You know, so yeah, it's all about, man. I want to do some great things in my body, man. Everything gonna be coming soon. So any of you who are on here from from Mississippi or the Mississippi Delta, man, you know, I'm gonna be doing some things in my body, you know, real soon, especially by the summer. So I want to have a lot of plans roll out. February 6th, we have a something that we're going to be doing in Mount Bay. I'm not sure if it's going to be hot food or if we're going to pack, pass out bags of food. But I will let you know by next weekend. It'll be the first weekend in February. And so scheduled for February 6th. We're hoping to have it at Scooters. At Scooters Place. That's Canaz. What's up, uh, Lisa? How you doing? Are we ready? We got everything set up? So I'll be on my way over. Is everything good? All right, yeah, tell James I'm on my way, man. I really appreciate you guys, man. I thank you for stopping through. Baron, everybody, you know what I mean? All right, yeah, make sure you do, man. I'll be around, all right? Yeah, be good to see you too, man. Been a long time, man. Yeah, but as you know, don't forget, anybody who just came on, man, if you come back through and look at this, Set your notifications so whenever I go live, man, it'll pop up on your on your timeline or in your notification. And that way you know you can click and follow. So sometimes I do a lot of impromptu. I might stop at uh, an event somewhere in Mississippi, you know, be it Jackson or, or Greenville or Mount Bayou or wherever. You know what I mean? So so thank you for stopping through, man. I really appreciate you, okay? Yeah, take care. I'm out. God bless you.